What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Fan Friday, and I'm actually really excited about this Fan Friday because it kind of reminds me of Tuesday's video, but like a kind of better idea, I guess. Because like Mega Alexander was cool with Necrozma, but now we're playing another spread deck, which I think this one's a little bit better and should be a lot more fun. Um, just because they're like non EX attackers, they're stage one attackers, and it's I think it's still. Really, really good. I think a Tuesday's video as well. I think I messed up not putting Espeon on the deck. Um, so yeah, definitely want to rework on Tuesday's video just a little bit. But today's Fan Friday. The winner was Tapu Koko Gengar, and I am so excited. Gengar has always been like one of my like favorite base set Pokemon. Um, there's really not a lot of base set Pokemon I really like, unfortunately. Um, and Gengar is just so cool. Just one of them that's really cool. Um, so let, let's go over the deck. Of course, Coco Flying Flip twenty to everybody. That's all you need to know. 20 to everybody for your treat. Really nice. So we have Ghastly with a Sleep Poison Flip a Coin of Heads. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now Sleep and Poison. Okay. Stage 1 Hunter. Uh, poison Ring. They're Poison and Poison. Okay. And that Pokemon can't retreat due to your opponent's next turn. But it has the Gothic of Fear. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may leave both active Pokemon confused, which is great. Because with Coco, you have that free treat, so you can switch between different Cocos and leave your opponent's active Pokemon confused, which is really nice. But the main guy of the deck is going to be Gengar with the Creep Show. If your opponent's active Pokemon has three or more damage counters on it, that Pokemon is knocked out. And that's how we kind of synergize people. We have the Coco and the Gengar working together to take some knockouts. He also has Sinister Fog, your opponent's active Pokemon is now Poison, and you put one damage count on each of your opponent's benched Pokemon. So that's what we're going to try to do today. We're going to try to spread with the Flying Flip, and then attack with the Gengar Creep Show. Alright, so we also play the Espeon EX with the Miraculous Shrine. Of course, it partners well with Coco, if you need that dire, if you're in that bad, dire situation, dire, bad, whatever it's called, situation. Uh, Ringaroo and Struct, I just love Ringaroo, he's just really good. Just to be able to Struck whenever, it's really nice. And of course, two Lele, and that's going to be all the Pokemon we play. Uh, for Max Elixir, and the reason why I play Max Elixir is because we don't get, um, it's actually because my friend Chris played a Coco deck, and it kind of looked like this a little bit. Um, but Max Elixir is really good because you can just Elixir to your Cocos, and then when they get knocked out, you have EXP share to get the energies on your Gengar, so it's really cool, and you can set up multiple Cocos to attack in one turn. Um, two rescue stretcher to get back this Pokemon out of your deck. Mainly put one in your hand, like Hontor. Putting Hontor in your hand is really good. Uh, one super rod to get back your energies. Two Siren Ball to get your evolutions out. If you flip a heads, you get one. Um, for each heads, you flip two coins for each heads, put an evolution in your hand. Uh, for Ultra Ball, just really good. Uh, one Bridget, of course. Three Guzma. Of course, one of Guzma's Pokemon around. So we Gengar take the right knockouts. Four in, four Sycamore, and a very interesting choice by me, uh, two Shauna. If you're a fan of this channel, you know why Shauna is very interesting to put in my decks. That's all I got to say. Uh, three EXP shares, so that way we can put the e EXP shares on a Gengar, and that way when Coco gets knocked out, Gengar can start getting powered up with that creep show attack, which is really cool. Uh, four DCE, because you know, you need it for flying flip, and eight psychic energy, and that's going to be the Gengar Coco deck. I mean, there's really not much else to break down. The deck is pretty much straightforward. You just spread with Coco, then you start taking knockouts with Creep Show, and if you do that three times, you win. Um, that's the point of the deck, and nothing else really to say. Now, if you are against stage one decks, your best for it is definitely going to be Espeon. You definitely just try to spread, and then use Espeon to Miraculous Shrine to win games that way. And that's pretty nice. Uh, but in the GX world, you definitely just want to try to Creep Show to knock them out and just try to go out that way. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, Fan Friday this time around was actually really fun. So I'm, thank you guys. Thank you for not punishing me. But make sure you go like the Facebook page down below. And then maybe your deck suggestion for Fan Friday will be the winner. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great uh, Friday. And let's see the deck in action. Alright guys, spring is Happy Tynamo. Hey, <laughs> what a Happy Tynamo. I don't think Tynamo has been a format. Or a good Tynamo has been a format for a little while. I guess, I guess E-Electric is still a format. Kind of. an expanded. Uh, I mean, if it's a Tynamo deck, I'm going to be happy because... I don't think there's a good Eels deck in format right now that I know of, but whatever. So our turn. <laughs> Not enough about that. Okay. So, oh my goodness gracious, Pokemon. Start with the Lele. Start with Lele. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. So what we can do here is we can Ultra Ball, discard Ultra Ball, and Hunter to get another Lele. Of uh, Wonder Tag for Bridget for Rangaroo, Ghastly, Coco. That's the plan there. 
All right, so let, let's see if this plan works or not. It might, it might not work. We could have like Bridget Prize and maybe something else prize. Hopefully not over Coco. So it's pretty crazy. But uh, yeah, let's we'll start today. See what this crazy. Okay, so Gardevoir. All right, all right. So Ultra Ball. Um, yeah, I'm a Ultra Ball. I just got Ultra Ball and the Haunter. I guess could have maybe kept the Ultra Ball. It's not a bad idea. And our Bridget Prize. Great. All right. So grab, we'll grab Lele. We will. Yep. We'll use Lele. Yep. We'll search for the card. Yep. 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 We'll just grab a N, and uh, just get a new hand of six. I guess we could have went Shauna, maybe. <laughs> Shauna, guys. If you're a fan of this channel, you know how much I hate Shauna. All right. So our hand not so good. Uh, we got a Ghastly. We got a Psychic Energy, and we got a Hard Pass. I mean, next time we got the we got the Gothic Fear, we can leave both of us confused, which is not a bad thing. I just realized I didn't put any Flowstones in here, so like in my head, I was like, we don't need Flowstones. We got Guzmas, and like we're gonna start Coco. So I guess maybe put a Psyche on the Co on the Lele would have been better, so that way we could at least like dance up the turn too. But whatever. Uh. Maybe, maybe he'll end us, and we and we get like some good cards. So, but realistically, what we might see here is just like Lele for Bridget. Yep. So Lele come down. Gonna grab Brigetti. Oh, please let his Bridget be prized too. Please, Pokemon, let it be prized. Just let you know it's not prized. Okay. Maybe he doesn't have a fairy energy. Okay. So Bridget come down. Okay. Because he's got the sparkling wish. Going to be able to wish those rots. Okay. So there's some Pokemon coming down. Alrighty. And there's a DC attachment. That's what I want to see there. Alright. So we get a Sycamore. So we'll put down the Hauntor. I think right now. Yeah. We'll leave both confused. Uh, I'm just going to Sycamore here. And just hope he doesn't have anything. I know we discard the Aspion. There's a Coco. An EXP share. So put down Coco. We'll play uh, Max Elixir. Okay. There's one to this guy. Play another Max Elixir. Okay, that one's a whiff. That's okay. We'll put down a Rangaroo. <clears throat> put down EXP share. And we'll instruct for one. Alrighty, and boom! Pass. Alright, so in our opponent's turn, let's see what happens here. Okay, so we need another Max Elixir. And an Energy Attachment to the Active. And then we can start using Fly Flip. So Rare Candy Guardy. Maybe I should have been there. <laughs> Alright, so Rare Candy Guardy will come down. But does he also, okay, Sycamore, discarding a Skyla, okay, does he get double fairy, even, like, even if he does get double fairy, he doesn't take a knockout here, so there's a choice being going to the bench. There's an Ultra Ball, going to start two cards from his hand, maybe grab him a Curlia, discards a fairy energy, ooh, what card was that? An Octillery, alright, so it's the Octillery coming down, he could have, I guess those three cards in his hand must have been like really good, and he decided he didn't want to attack the strand or something crazy, I don't know. So seek your spring to the active, maybe? Mm. Yep. Does he already have another another fairy hand? No, he's gonna Bissell hand here for three. Alright. There's a f okay, so he will be able to attack this turn. He's gonna retreat into that guardy, get attack off this turn, and uh, start putting some pressure on us. So infinite force. For 120. So on our turn, we get an Ultra Ball. Not what I really want to see, so we're going to play in here. Yep. Come on, Max looks at energy. That's not what I want to see there. Alright. So we'll put down another Ghastly. We will Ultra Ball. Discard a 1 and 2. Okay. I'm not going to grab anything. I am going to stretch her 3 back and deck. Okay. So we'll get one, two, three. We'll EXP share the Gengar or the Ghastly, and we are struck for three. All right, so let's see what do we find here. We find a DCE, but no, nope, nope, that's not what we want to see. So we'll put a, a Psych Energy to the bench, Hauntor, and we'll press done onto our opponent's turn. But next turn, we got a Coco, we got a DCE. We can start flying flipping. Yeah, he's going to take a knockout here, but um, as soon as we. Well, we have to double swing, because Gengar needs three energies, three damage. Alright, so Rare Candy, uh, you know, Gardevoir. Okay. 
Another guard will come. Uh, Carly go down. Okay. Uh, Seeker Spring. So three, six, nine. Okay. Uh, fair energy there. There's a Parallel City. Oh, boy. Who plays Parallel City in their deck? Okay, so we discard. Oh, baby. The Oranguru and the Lele. Okay. Great. Alright, so Bissel Hand, gonna draw three. Alright, that's not what we need to see, guys. Uh oh. Alright, so we got another Coco. Okay, DC, okay, cool. Both guardians powered up. Alright, so Infinite Force for the knockout, do 120. Alright, so we're gonna send our Coco. We're gonna put down the Coco. Alright, so putting the Coco down on our turn. We get a Shauna. So put out Coco, we'll put in DC and Will Shauna. Now, I don't think we have a way to get rid of this this thing. I don't think we have a way to get rid of this. All right, so we'll retreat into the Coco. We will flying flip. Everybody take 20. There we go. Everybody take 20. Thank you. Thank you for playing today. All right, next thing we got a Psych Energy. Put it on the Coco. We can flying flip again. I think we're going to have two prize cards. I don't know if we can outbeat this. 36, 9, 12, 50. He's going to do 150. Okay. There's a Guardian coming down. Ooh, a Gallade coming down. Alright, so Gallade coming down. There's an end, which is good for us. We don't have a Gengar in hand, but we did have Psyche Energies to go with the Cocos. Alright. Okay. Okay, alright. All right. So, we'll see an attachment there. Okay, 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 okay. Huh. Alright, so best hand for a couple. Okay. There's a Premonition. Gonna range top five cards of his deck. Hmm. Okay. Alright. 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 I have an idea. It's not a good idea, but it's an idea. I think. So, I'm going to send in the Hauntor. Yeah, I'm going to send in the Hauntor. Alright. I am going to... Uh... Put down, let's see, I'm going to Guzma up the Octillery, send our Coco in, put down Hauntor, we're going to say no, no thank you, oh I forgot to, oh I forgot to use that, the Max Elixir, alright, so we get two heads, I'm going to grab Hauntor, just send our deck down, I'm going to put down Gengar, uh, put a Psychic on the active, and we'll go for Flying Flip. Alright, so there we go. I think this is the best play we had. If he has his own Guzma, we're in trouble. Did we not see any more Gengars in our deck? I literally don't think we saw any more Gengars in our deck. Hmm. It could be bad. It could be real bad if that's the case. Alright. Okay, so decent to Glade. Does he already have Guzma in hand? Field Blower? Okay. Get a double EXP share. That's not good. There's a Seeker Spring. Does he have double Fairy in hand? Alright, there's one Fairy. There's an N. Alright, so he's gonna put himself at three. If he wants to fair if he wants to fairy did you hear, I'll be kinda happy. Not kinda, I will be happy. Alright, so Stretcher, there's an Ultra Ball. Alright. Not gonna get anything, and we'll see Abyssal Hand for five. Alrighty. Okay, so Seeker Spring to the active. He'll take a knockout going out of two. Okay, we can then put a. Uh, man, I think we might actually have this game here. He's gonna take a knockout going out of two. We take a knockout Gengar. He sends up his guy. We take a knockout, and then we knock out the Lele. We win the game. Okay, Glade. Oh, baby, but Glade's gonna. Oh, Glade's gonna knock us out this turn and gonna ruin everything for us. But we do have. Do we have a Guzma left in deck? If we have a Guzma left in deck, then we have a chance. All right. So since the blade doing two sixty, we'll send up Gengar. Okay. There is a Haunter. Okay, so we're gonna stretcher. 
I don't remember the, uh, how many Guzmas we have in this deck. Alright, so we'll grab a Lele. <laughs> we'll use Wonder Tag. Yep. And there is another Guzma in here. Alright, so we're going to grab the Guzma. Alright, so we'll grab the Guzma. We'll put down the Coco. We will Guzma up the Guardi to send in our Coco. Uh, we'll put a Psychic EXP Share Retreat back into the Gengar, and we will take a knockout with the Creep Show. Alright, so there we go. Creep Show taking a knockout, going out of four prize cards. We find a Sycamore and a Gengar. So we have a Gengar for next turn. Um, this Ging this Guardi can knock us out. That is 100% correct. That is correct. I mean, but Galay can also knock us out as well. My opponent has only played one. He's played two Guzmas. Maybe that's all he plays. Wishful hope and hopefulness. All right, so here comes Guardi. Onto our opponent's turn. Going to draw a card. But we, oh man, uh, the only downside is we don't play another uh, uh, Guzma for sure. <laughs> so that's not good. So there's a Sycamore. That is not a Guzma. He's going to discard a bunch of stuff. He had, he had Lele in hand if he wanted to go for Guzma that way, but he's going to opt not to. All right, there's Ambit for us for the knockout. Going down to one prize card. We do get a, a Psychic Energy to our Hauntor. Uh, we do have a Gengar. We will take a knockout. Going down to two prize cards as well. It's going to come down to, does my opponent have a Guzma here? If we top deck an N, N to one, it's not going to matter. He has Abyssal Head plus Octillery in his hand. <laughs> in his possessions. All right, so send of the Coco. He's got that free retreat. Doesn't really matter. On our turn, do we top deck an N? No, we get a Psychic Energy, so I'm going to put a Psychic on the Lele, and I'm just going to Sycamore, and we're going to see what's going to happen here, guys. I don't think we have really anything else. There's a Shauna. Um, whatever, we'll retreat into the Gengar. We'll Max Elixir. Put a Psychic on the Lele. I'm just trying to get this Lele powered up if we need to attack with it, and we will Creep Show for the Knockout. Okay, going down to two price cards. There's a Gengar and a Bridget, okay. Here comes a Lele. Oh, baby. I don't, Lele's not going to sell. Okay, if he has a Guzma here, then he wins. And there's the Guzma, no! <laughs> oh, man. We had to put down the Coco, or we wouldn't have been able to retreat that one turn. Oh, baby. Well, there we go. We tried. We tried. We almost had it. We almost had it. If we if we didn't start so bad like having the lele start we i think we would have won that game pretty easily but i forgot to put flow stones in the deck maybe take the two shanas out immediately for two more flow stones definitely will be 100 percent better i think maybe i don't know but we'll see another game with this deck here in a second hopefully it's a victory but if not we got so close there i thought we were going to have it but he does play the three guzmas i mean why are you not playing three guzmas in your deck if that's the case maybe four guzmas i don't know but we'll see another game with the deck here in a second we'll see what happens all right, so we get Shine Scizor. Ooh, playing a Psychic Dark deck. Is this Dark Ray? I don't know. So we won the coin flip. All right, so that's good. Yes, hopefully Bridge is not prized like last game. That was very unfortunate for us. All right, so and we start Coco, baby. This is the start we need if we're playing this kind of random deck here. All right, so yeah, shuffle those back in the deck. You don't need those. All right, get some more. Okay, come on, give me. Okay, Mulligan number one. Mulligan number two. Mulligan number three. Mulligan number four. All right, Eradicate Zorak deck. Mm, a 90X versus 90X. I thought in this game, it might be better to go the Espeon route because we're... Yeah, we're taking all those Mulligans. You kidding me? All right. Yeah, yeah, Coco, Rangaroo, Dunn, and Azora. All right, so we're going to Ultra Ball, discard... How was a Rangaroo MVP? That's all I gotta say. It literally did nothing, and Rangaroo was MVP. Alright. Alright, swing is Argus. Uh, Mewtwo deck? Mega Mewtwo, maybe? Alright, you gotta be crazy playing Mega Mewtwo right now, right? I think you have to be kind of crazy playing Mega Mewtwo with Garbodor being everywhere. But. Okay. We got Ghastly. Alright, so Ghastly. Uh, hopefully, Dominic and Bridget. And we just get Coco and a bunch of friends out. So Drampa, that's not what we want to see. So we're definitely just going to end. Don't want to commit the DC to the active because I'm just going to get punished. Alright, so we got to bridge it for next turn. But after that, really don't have anything else. 
So second, the active press done onto our opponent's turn. All right, so let's see here. Um, it might be just a Drampa Garbota deck, and I'm just overthinking about making Mewtwo suit too much. I don't know why I always overthink about that deck. Just I have nightmares about Mega Mewtwo just losing to it at uh, cities or cups last year, whatever whatever they were last year. So choice ban the active, which is useless, and an N. I liked my hand a lot. Oh, he had Bridget. We were just going to bridge it. Maybe Ultra Ball for a, uh, a Huntor. All right, well. All right, so Big Wheel GX. Come on down, Big Wheel GX. This is what I wish my Shauna was a, uh, in here. So we get 10 new cards to that Big Wheel GX. All right, so in our turn. Oh, no. If we Coco spread, that means Drampus will take a knock on our Coco. Just to let you guys know, if you haven't realized that. Okay, we're not going to find anything that's good. We'll EXP share the active. Well, Ultra Ball discards Shauna and Espeon to grab another Ghastly. No, this is not... This is actually a bad matchup now, because if we spread, like I said, we just get punished. Alright, so we get a DC. We can attach that here. We can Ultra Ball, discard Timer Ball, and the Haunter to grab another Coco. Oh, I should have kept the Haunter. We kind of need it right now, don't we? To evolve. Put down Coco. We will max Elixir. Put a Psychic on the Coco. Retreat. And then go for the spread. Maybe we'll be lucky and he won't have um, DC in hand. <laughs> what am I kidding? He's probably going to have the DC in hand. I, I, I should have maybe somehow put the Hunter down. The next one could have King Art. But still, I mean, I think we're okay here. So Trubbish coming down, okay. Let's see, uh, Layla coming down. Okay, Wonder Tag. Hmm. There's a Hala. So not a DCE. We see a Flustone to a Trubbish. Garboder, Garbo Toxic. We do not care about that. Uh, Potown coming down. And a Hala. Alright. I mean, I kind of care about Potown, but not really. Uh, what we really care about is does he find a DCE? Yeah. And no DCE. I mean, he's still going to, like, right the, the DC off the active. But still, he's not taking a knockout here, which is great. All right, so we get a stretcher. So I'm definitely going to use a stretcher right now. Put a Pokemon from Discarpa on our hand. And we're going to grab Hauntor. And we're going to fuse this Drampa. All right, so put down the Hunter. <clears throat> we'll say... Oh, he's got Gar... Ooh, Garbotux and Garbot actually matters now. Because we couldn't use our Hunter's ability. All right, so... We have... An Ultra Ball, discard Bridget and Lele for another Hauntor. Okay. We'll put down the Hauntor. We will retreat and use another Flying Flip. Do a 20 to everybody. Big moment of truth again. Does I want to have a DCE here? All right, so Drampin now has 40. This Garb has 40. Uh, we need one more Flying Flip, really, to put pressure on this guy. There's an Eevee coming down all of a sudden. Uh, Flowstone to the Lele. DCE. Sycamore, but we can knock out this Drampa next turn, which is great for us. He discards a Garboder, and if he evolves a Potown, then this Gengar can actually take a knockout on him, which is really cool. But does he find a Field Blower? There's a Garbotux and Garboder coming out, taking 30 damage, which now activates our Gengar's, uh, whatever it's called, uh, Sinister, whatever. How many, how many items do I have here? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 140. Yeah, we're getting knocked out for sure. So Psychic Energy. Uh, maybe we move to the Hauntor. And uh, we just need to find a Psychic Energy here. So, on our turn, what do we top deck? We get a Sycamore. So, put down the Gengar. I think I'm just going to Sycamore because I am looking for a, another Psychic Energy and an EXP share. There's a DCE, but no EXP share as of right now. Let's put down this, put down this, put down the Gengar, put down an Aringaru, put a Psychic on the Gengar. We will retreat. Actually, we'll, we'll, we can't instruct at all because of Gengar. Dang it, Squeaky. All right, so we'll retreat. And we will creep show for the knockout. All right, go down to four prize cards. And the Hunter and an EXP share. All right, we drew the EXP share kind of too late. But what we can still do is we can fly flip next turn, put some damage on the Gengar, or the, uh, the Garbodor and the Garbodor. 
Okay, there's an Ultra Ball, but it's a two cards from Sand. Discard a Choice Band and Espeon GX. Or an EX, sorry. Okay. Now, I was kind of nervous, but we might have a chance here. Um, we're going to be tight on price cards. Okay, there's a Drampa GX coming down. Drampa doesn't matter too much, really. Alright. So, see that coming down. Oh, he's actually... No, there's no way. He has to set up Garbodor, right? Yeah. Going to set up Garbodor. It's going to take a knockout here with the Trash Lanch going down to four price cards. Alright, so, on our turn, we'll send the Coco. Let's see, what do we find here? So, on our turn, we get a Max Luxor. So, play the Max Luxor. No energies. Wow. Alright, so put down the Hauntor. We will DC the Bench, Choice Band the Gengar, and just play a Sycamore. Okay. So, we find a DC and a Stretcher. What we really need is an Espeon. We do have, we do have an Espeon in the discard pile, so we can use that next turn. So we'll retreat into the Coco. We will go for the Flying Flip. All right, there we go. Send some damage up everywhere. All right, so let's see here. We can go for Espeon. It'll take one knockout. So there's an N. Okay. I really want to go for another Flying Flip and try to set up multiple knockouts. So Psychic, Guzma, there's a Field Blower. Guarantee our choice our EXP share. Thank you, buddy. And there's a trash lance, okay. Going down to three. I think what I'm gonna do is set up a ringaroo. I think. Hmm. Okay. Three, six, hmm. Two, takes a knockout, two. All right, so we're actually going to send up the Gengar. Okay, I'm going to do some a weird play here. So on our turn, we get a Psychic. So I'm going to put a Psychic on the active. I'm going to play it in here. All right. We get a Guzma, a Sycamore, and a Ghastly. So I'm going to put down the Ghastly. And right now I'm going to center the Fog. Put 10 damage um, your opponent's active Pokemon is not confused, and we put 10 everywhere. What this does is this sets up a knockout on this Garbodor. If he evolves his Eevee to Espeon, we can then knock it out as well. This is all through Devolution. So, this might be the correct play. I don't know. So, there's another Garbodor coming out. That takes another 30. So, it's still not enough for knockout just yet. Okay. There's a DC on the Eevee. Okay. There's a Trash Lynch for the knockout. For 200, we'll send in our Coco. Hmm. So we find an Ashana. All right, how many DCs have we played? Two. So right now I'm just going to second more. I'm looking for another DC here. Okay, that's not what I wanted to see. All right. All right, all right. We got to think about this, guys. How many energies do we have in the underscore pile? We have six, seven. So there's one left. We get timer ball to see what's left in our deck. Heads and heads. Whew, that's not good. Hmm. Why did we not hit one of those two DCEs? I think what I'm going to do is put down... Okay, hold on. Let me think about this. So he swings, goes down to one. We can devolution... Hmm. I wish this Garbodor had 70 damage on it. <gasps> I'm so scared of this Garbodor We're taking a knockout next turn on everybody. Alright, so what I'm going to do is put a Psyche on this guy. Put down Gengar. Retreat into the Gengar. And Sinister Fog. Okay. So let's see. Okay, all right, all right, all right. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, choice ban that guy. Okay, there's a sycamore. And I think we win now. Oh my goodness! I think if we top deck a uh, DC, if we top deck that energy, we win because we can deal off one, two, three, and four. If we top deck the DC, we win right here, guys. All right, so send the Coco. If we top deck the DC, we win right now. 
No, it was the EXP share. No. All right, all right. We have to think of what we're gonna do now. No, I don't think there's anything we could do in our deck. Oh no, I don't. Th I literally think the two cards in our deck are Coco as a Lele and a DCE. If we hit the DCE, we would have been able to devolve this guy. We would have been able to devolve this guy. Devolve this guy and devolve this guy. But we whiff the DCE. No. All right, we gotta think of what we're gonna do now. Okay. It's not over yet, guys. It is not over yet. We're gonna figure out a way how to do this. How many psychics are in discard pile? So one, two, three. Okay, that's. It's not good for us at all, okay? So, we're gonna have to hope here is Guzma. We're gonna treat first into the Ghastly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna max look here, see what's left in our deck. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna Guzma bring up the... Yeah, this Garbador is the only one without energy, so we have to bring up this Garbador. Send in our Coco. And pass. Alright, if he doesn't have an energy, we can maybe hit a DC next turn and win. And there's a Guzma! No! <laughs> if we had hit the DC, we would have won. We would have deal off all of his Pokemon. We would have won. No, that was so close. The Garbodor coming in real clutch there. Not able to use our Ranguru. If we could have used a Ranguru there, we definitely would have won the game. Like, 100%, we would have won the game. We would have de-evolved and been good to go. But, man! No! Oh, it was a 33.333 33 chance of winning that turn. Maybe I should have, like, Ultra Ball to grab the Lele, put it down to a 50% chance, 50-50, but no, we lose the game. We're so close. So close, guys. All right, but we'll see one more game with the Gengar deck here in a second. Hopefully, we get a victory. We couldn't ask for more, but, man, Geng that guard would actually turn in more crucial than I thought. All right, guys, we'll see what happens in the next game. All right, guys, on the round number three, we're playing against Ref Squad. Playing some kind of water deck. I hope it's a GX deck. <laughs> or an EX or GX deck, please. Just don't let me play against another eight stage one deck. Alright. So here we go. We start with double okay, we start with double cocoa. That's that's the that is the play there. Double cocoa starts what we need. Alright, so press done. Alright, come on, baby. Like we almost beat Guardi, we almost beat Drampa. Unless I'm crazy. So Metagross. Alright, so Mulligan. Okay, so Metagross. It should be doable. It should be doable, I think, in my head. It's going to take him a second to set up. By the time he sets up, we should be able to fly and flip a couple times. There's an EXP share, double belt up. So we'll put a Psychic on the bench. We'll play an N. No bridge, but that's okay. Okay, that's whatever. Um, we can Ultra Ball this card, the N and Guzma, to grab a Ghastly. Okay, come on down, Ghastly. All right, so grab Ghastly, put that down, and we'll press done onto our opponent's turn. Next turn, we got a DC. We can put on the active. We can start flying, flipping, and putting the damage on everybody. That is the play, guys. And we have multiple ways to win this. We can either go Espeon or Gengar, but the point of this deck is to Gengar. So we're definitely going for that creep show. Sorry, I'm thirsty, guys. I'm thirsty. Thirsty guy. Thirsty. I'm dying of thirst here. All right, so... We get Max looks here. Okay, this is actually a really, really good hand. Um, I'm hoping he grabs a uh, Vulpix here. Eh, I, I guess it doesn't matter. Whatever he grabs here. Discard, oh, discard the Bridget and a Metal. We would see another, I hope we see another Beldum come down. Because I want to make sure these Metagross have enough damage on them. But our hand's looking good. We have a Haunter. We can confuse them. We got a Max Luxor. <laughs> uh, there's a Vulpix. Okay, that's not what I want to see. I definitely want to see another Beldum come down. So Vulpix coming down. But, I mean, realistically, he's probably not attacking next turn unless he draws, like, a god here. So, Beacon. I hope he does, like, double Metagross. Like, alright. If he double Metagross, is alright. So, Metang and, and Lele. That's two good cards. I'm fine with that. So, on our turn, we get a DCE. What a top deck. What a top deck. So, DCE, Max Elixir, Psychic the Coco, uh, put down Ghastly, put down the Hauntor. Uh, yeah, we'll confuse the Vulpix. We will retreat into the Coco. And we'll start fly flipping everybody. Alright, there we go. 20, 20, 20. Alright, we have a Hauntor. We have a Gengar next turn. But really, Creep Show is not going to start mattering uh, straight away. But I mean, we're, we're doing good. We're already doing good. There's a Metane coming down. The only thing I'm kind of worried about is his 
um, max potions, but even then, like, he has to play a bunch of them. So that's okay, I guess? I don't know. If he max potions once, then it's definitely in trouble. <laughs> okay. So there's a Guzma. I'm gonna send him his Beldum. He doesn't like that his Vulpix is confused. <laughs> I wouldn't either. So Vulpix coming up. I mean, luckily, Gengar has no retreat cost, so... <laughs> That's good. Alright, so we see a beacon here. Gonna get a Metang and Metagross. Okay, alright. So on our turn. We'll put down the Gengar. Free retreat activated. Thank you very much. Put an EXP issue in this guy. Retreat into the Coco. I guess we should have just probably set Gomar first and then retreated. But whatever. Alright, there. Yeah, we definitely should have waited a second and not been so crazy. Uh, well, Max Elixir. Put a Psychic on the Ghastly. Put down Hauntor. We'll say no to Confusion, because I retreated first like a silly person. Um, I, I think I am put a DC on the Gengar. And just Flying Flip. Okay. So, it's our opponent's turn. Uh, can he attack next turn? Probably not. Like, that'd be pretty crazy if he attacks. So, this is Met Metagross number one. Because he needs two Metagrosses here to attack. There's another Met Tank coming down. Okay. Uh, we will be able to not... Oh, EXP share being blown off. I mean, I think we're fine here. We're, we're slowly setting up. We got multiple attackers here. We, you know, we got the we got one Gengar. We almost have another Gengar ready to go. We're going to have another Coco coming down. I, I think we're looking fine here. And I really... Okay, there's another Guzma. Bringing up our Gengar. Who's he going to bring up here? Really? Interesting. Because we can knock out this Metagross here. If we find a Psychic Energy, Creepshow is going to take a knockout on him. We know he has a Lele in hand. He... Yeah, he, we know he has a Lele, so I don't know why he just Guzman here. That seems like a huge misplay. Does it not, guys? Because I'm going to Sycamore trying... So there's a Geotech system to get a Metal on the active. And then we're going to see him Algorithm. But we're going to be able to take a knockout here. So as long as we find a Psychic Energy, we'll be able to creep show to take a knockout this turn. And even if we don't, we'll just Flying Flip, knock out the Vulpix, put more pressure on the Metting... And uh, be good to go. So, yeah, we'll see what he does here. A huge Guzma play by my opponent. I don't understand it, really. I guess he just wants to algorithm and to try to maybe draw some max potions. Like, use some max potions next turn. That's not a bad idea. Uh, but whatever. I'll allow I'll, I'll, I will allow this Guzma play. It is perfectly fine with me to Guzma here. Just wait on the Guzma. I mean, the algorithm. Going to put five cards in his hand. I mean, we top deck it in. I'm going to be. I'm just going to laugh. Please let me top deck it in. Oh, a psychic energy. That's just as good. So, psychic the active. We'll put down the Coco. We'll instruct for one. Trying to find it in here. Oh, baby. <laughs> All right. And, uh. We'll creep show for the knockout. Yep. <laughs> All right, timer ball and an EXP share. All right, so we are going places. <laughs> yep. All right, here comes Vulpix onto our opponent's turn. Goodness. All right, I mean, alien. We have Guzma too. We can bring out that Metagross, take a knockout on this turn. He better max potion or in us. There's a metal energy me attached. We might see a bacon here. Gonna use good old baconator. Okay, Ultra Ball. Will we see a Lele here for an in? Discards a psychic and a in choice ban. And even we like okay, so Beldum. Um he must already have a supporter card in hand. Or Lele, that works too. Man, I can't believe we Top deck is uh, psychic and then and then <laughs> and then instruct for the for the end. I mean, we top deck the energy and then <laughs> that was just such a dirty play. I'm sorry, opponent. That was mean of me. All right, so we see it in here. We both get some new cards. Uh, but like I said, if we don't hit a Guzma, which we don't, I mean, we're still looking okay. There's a max potion, so that's the first max potion coming down, which is fine for me. Um, because he already attached this turn, so 
beacon. You're going to search a Pokemon out. And we're just going to flying flip here. It's not too big of a deal. It's, it's whatever. Um, we'll just start. We'll knock out the Vulpix. Put some more damage back on the field. And I mean, he has a knockout six for a Pokemon. Um, so Metang and a Metagross come down. Which means he has rare candy Metagross in hand, obviously. Uh, so there's a DCE. So we'll just put a Psychic Own to the Hauntor. We'll Shauna, Shuffle, draw five. I don't know what we're really looking for. Like, we have a good hand already. I guess Timer Ball to try to get another Gengar out. And there's Gengar coming out. So we'll grab a Gengar. We'll put that guy down. We'll retreat. And I guess I'm going to send the DCE. Uh, Coco, just because we can't use EXP share with that. And there we go. We'll take a knock on the Vulpix, put a 20 everywhere, going down to three price cards. We get a Lele, okay. And the only downside is that he can take a knock out this turn, but then we can, you know, fly flip again. We have another DCE. We have, like, three Cocos, so that's really good. Um, yeah. We have multiple ways to win this game. I am not scared at all. There's a Red Candy Metagross, okay? He's going to have the Metal in hand. He's going to double Geotech system to the active. Take a knockout here. But the big question of the day is how many max potions does he play? He's already played one. Um, I don't know. Because we can knock out the Lele. We can knock out the Metagross. Matang, Metagross. Next turn. We're going to have so many options opened up for us. Which is fantastic. <clears throat> And I'm definitely just going to hold him to his hand, too, so that way we can lay for Guzma when we need to. Yeah, so I think it's fine. And there's Victor Screen. My opponent realizing, you know, I can't take down this deck. Yeah, I can, like, <laughs> I can try to do stuff, but these he has double Gengar. He's going to win this game. And I don't know what the outcome of that what that was going to be, but I'm 100%. Like, I'm 95% sure we would have won that game with our Gengar deck. Man, like, because we would have flying flipped, hit everybody. Then we had two Gengars ready to go. And even then, if he doesn't do that, we just keep... Like, if he knocks out our Gengars, we still have Espeon to sweep and uh, knock out of all of his Metagross in one turn as well. So there we go, guys. There's the Gengar top of Coco deck. We finally won a game. I guess technically we won two, but that second game didn't really count, so my opponent conceded. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed this edition of Fan Friday. Hit that subscribe button. Alrighty. Bye. Alright guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, Six Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.